Welcome back to Good Guardian Canine Working Dog. This is part two of the Zebo Pitbull video where Wes Taylor is showing off some of his Zebo dogs. This is filmed somewhere around 1999, between 99 and 2000. In this particular video, he's showing off uh, some of his, his Kobe dogs, pure old fashioned Kobe dogs. And I must say, these are some, some beautiful bulldogs. He's got some nice dogs in this video. And uh, when I say bulldog, that's a general term. I don't mean American bulldogs. These are pure pit bulls. So I hope you enjoy this one. Remember to like and to share the videos as well and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. It really helps the channel to grow and it also gives me a good indication of um, what the viewers like and so I can post based on that. So thanks again. Hopefully you're taking care of yourself. You're keeping safe. Take care of your families. Enjoy the dogs. Enjoy the videos. Take care of your own dogs. And I'll see you in my next video. All right, I showed you my Zebo line. Everybody's pretty familiar with my Zebo line, but I also have... A Colby line. Um, I use them for outcrossing different breedings. Very thankful to have the two Colby dogs that I do have. Thanks to John Colby in Texas and thanks to the entire Colby family for their years and years of hard work. I'm fortunate enough to got Colby's fighting rusty from John Colby in Duncansville, Texas. He's a 42 pound chain weight dog. I couldn't be more pleased with him. Great structure, great attitude, very intelligent, um, just a wonderful bulldog. Colby's Fighting Rusty is off of the Colby's Red 2, which is off the Dakota 2, which is off of Milo. On the bottom side, he's off the Colby's Jitsi 2 dog. Trace Rusty's pedigree back to the late 1800s. Ain't that right, honey? Ain't that right, honey? Thanks to Mr. Colby in Texas for selling me this young dog. He's exactly what I wanted. two-pound chain weight dog from Mr. John Colby, Texas. That's Colby's fighting rusty. I gotta say thanks to Mr. John Colby for this dog also. She come off the yard of John Colby. Hush! In Duncansville, Texas. She's Rusty's half-sister. They're both off the Colby's. They got the same father. This is Taylor's Little Miss Texas. She's um, dragging from the yard of John Colby in Texas, like I said. Um, she's also off the Colby's Red 2 dog. On the bottom side, she's off of Colby's Lucy May. A 
Lucy May is directly off the old grit blood. Um, she's def directly off of Colby's grit. Couldn't be happy with Lily. She's um she's one of the favorite dogs I've ever owned. Hey, there's Little Miss Texas. We call her Lily. I'm going to show you off my Frisco line. They were bred by Mr. Tom Garner. Frisco being third on the register merit list. Some people say first. There's a lot of controversy over it. I don't know. I wasn't there. Um, this is my Garner and Powers Diesel. Diesel is directly off Garner's Frisco. Bred to one of Frisco's daughters, making him double bred Frisco register merit. He's three times champion Chinaman race from Merritt. He's got a perfect confirmation build, um, well structured. Couldn't be happy with the dog. I was lucky enough to obtain him here for a stud dog from Mr. Rick Powers. Um, he had a situation where he had to get rid of his dogs. He's a 42 pound dog on the chain. Um, couldn't be happy with him. He's he's thrown me some really really hot puppies, and I love his build and his temperament. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Oh. Hey, honey. 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 Hey, Garner and Powers Diesel, double bred son of Frisco. Alright, this is Garner's Blackout. He's also a double bred son of Garner's Frisco. I, he's a direct son off the old Rester Merritt dog. Um, he's quartered out with the champion, Garner's Champion Spike. He's an exceptionally well bred dog. He's showing a good, lot of good sign for his age. This is Garner's Blackout. He's a double bred son of Garner's Frisco, Rester Merritt. Now, I may have looked at the pedigree wrong, but I believe that makes him six times champion Chinaman register merit. I'd have to study the pedigree. Blackout, he's two times Frisco. He's off of Frisco. He's off the Garner's Frisco register merit dog, bred to Garner's Lizzie, who's also a dog of Frisco. He's five times Garner's champ champion Chinaman register merit dog. And he's quartered out with the Garner's. Champion Spike Dog. Easy, son. Easy. Easy. Hey, honey. Last 
one of a Frisco line. This is Garner Zora. She's a double bred Garner Frisco Rester of Merit. She's five times champion chick Chinaman Rester of Merit. In a five generation pedigree, she has 21 Rester of Merits. She's quartered out with a champion Davis Midnight Cowboy Rester of Merit dog. I could not be happy with this young dog. I've got to say thanks to Tom Garner on this breeding. This is Garner Zora. All right, the last line of dogs I'm going to show you here on the yard. I've acquired, thanks to Dean Beatty of Keelan Kennels and St. Benedict's Kennel, in particular Matt. This is St. Benedict's Bailey. Bailey is the coming together of several of the world's best performing and best producing dogs. St. Benedict's Bailey is a son of Garrett's Tab. Garrett's Tab is a register of merit. He's a son of Champion Jeep, register of merit. Tab on the bottom side of out of Marlowe's Tabby Girl. Marlowe's Tabby Girl's three times inbred Bass Tramp Red Boy. On the bottom side of, of St. Benedict's Bailey's pedigree is St. Benedict's Isis. Isis is the daughter of Long's Weirdo, Register of Merit. Weirdo is a son of Champion Jeep, Register of Merit, an inbred son of Champion Jeep, Register of Merit. And on the bottom side, Isis is out of Dowdy's Meanie. Meanie is an inbred daughter of Hargrove's Rufus. Hargrove's Rusef, Rusef, excuse me, Rufus, <laughs> is of course bred down from the Davis Midnight Champion Cowboy Rester Merit Dog, inbred Bullison. Bailey, turn around, son. Bailey's a 44 and a half pound dog on the chain. He's, um, Got a proven record here in North Carolina. He's a good dog. I'm very pleased to have him here on the yard. We're going to be doing some inbreeding. We have him and three of his daughters quartered out with a good tamp blood, with a little Sahara, you know, some of the Greenwood blood. <coughs> Gotta say thanks to Matt. <coughs> Tab's no longer producing, so this is sort of the end of a bloodline. Four of the top six Rester Merit dogs in the world are right here in this dog's pedigree. Um, four of the best dogs that have ever lived. Best producing dogs also. Come here. Come here, son. Come here. Come here. Benedict's baby. We'll take you around and show you a few of his daughters we're going to be working with. <laughs> this is Taylor's Onyx. This is a daughter of St. Benedict's Bailey. We're going to be testing her out. If she works out, we're we'll bringing her back to Bailey. It's the fight. Sire of St. Benedict's Bailey. The dam is Greenwood's Lance's Lydia. <laughs> Next daughter we got off St. Benedict's Bailey. This is Taylor's Honey. Honey. 
Honey's on St. Bailey's Bailey. Hush! Branch is Schnatt's belly dancer. If you go back on Belly Dancer's pedigree to the generation where there's eight males, it's Crenshaw's Champion Jeep, Register Merritt, Grand Champion Yellow, Register Merritt, Grand Champion Yellow, Register Merritt, Grand Champion Yellow, Register Merritt, Jeep, and Champion Yellow three more times. Every male in the pedigree, those are both the number one and number two Register Merritt dogs live today according to Sporting Dog Journal's list. This bitch here has Jeep, the number one register merit. Grand Champion Yellow, the number two register merit. It also has Tab register merit and Weirdo register merit up close in her pedigree. We'll be breeding her back to Bailey one day. This is Taylor's honey. This is another daughter of Bailey. This is Taylor's Miss Bailey. Miss Bailey's is the daughter of St. Benedict's Bailey, bred to Clockton's Little Sahara. We're hoping she's going to be a good little bitch. Everything Sarah produces seems to work out pretty good. So got a pretty good idea. This one should be pretty good. Taylor's Miss Bailey. He's back. All right, this is Wes Strickland. Rusty, I hope you've enjoyed your visit to my yard. If you have any questions, comments, don't hesitate to call. Thanks. All right, this tape's going out to Mark in California, Dean Martinez in Canada. Dean, I'm sorry to get your other tape. I did mail it. Um, shit. Alberto in the Dominican Republic. Cindy Stokes in South Carolina or Georgia one, I can't remember. I didn't write down everybody's name, but um, I'm going to get your tapes out today. It's Friday, January the 18th. I'll have your tapes in the mail tomorrow. Um, we'll show you a few of the young adults, and we're going to show you the pups on the yard. This black bitch we're looking at here is off my St. Benedict's Bailey, bred to Greenwood's Lance's Lydia. Um, we plan on breeding her in the summer of the year back to St. Benedict's Bailey, making it three quarters of Bailey. about a 35, 36 pound bitch on the chain. Off St. Benedict's Bailey and Greenwood's Lance's Lydia. This brindle bitch over here, that is Courage and Taylor's Jade. She's extremely people shy. She's very dog aggressive. Um, she wouldn't make a good pet at all. She don't like people. She hardly come to me, but she's not aggressive, but she just don't like people. Greenwood's Lance is Lydia. I may have said that wrong. Um, that Taylor's Onyx, the black dog, is off of St. Benedict's Bailey, bred to Greenwood's Lance's Lydia. And that Brindle bitch, Courage and Taylor's Jade, is off Lonzo's Muscle, bred to Greenwood's Pauline. I'll send you pedigrees on both dogs. Show me Zebo. Taylor Zebo, he's maturing very well. Um, been doing a little bit of work with him, been happy with him so far. We have a litter of puppies off of the, over there off of him. We're going to show it to you. He was bred to Taylor's Katiger. That's Lanuski and Taylor Zebo. A very tight inbred Zebo dog. A lot tighter than a lot of this bullshit you see other people have. Hey, son. Show him what you got in your mouth, boy. Show this dog down the hill here, Tiger. Taylor's, I believe it's Little Tiger. I can't remember his race name to tell you the truth. It's off Garner and Powers Diesel, a double bred son of Frisco. Bred to Taylor's Two Face. Two Face is the old white dog that was Little Mate's sister to Taylor's Tiger. Um, 
Two-Face has produced some very good dogs. We're hoping that this one will turn out. We're going to show you this is Taylor's t little tiger. We're going to show you his brother, too. He's about a 35-pound dog right here as he stands. Um, birthday's in April. Him Taylor's Big Red. He's off of Garner and Powers Diesel bred to Taylor, Taylor's Two Face. This is Little Mate Brother, that Taylor's Little Tiger. Very happy with this dog. Um, it's going to be a long, rangy dog. A lot of edges for that. <laughs> Taylor's Big Red. This, this little blonde bitch over here is off of St. Benedict's Bailey. Bred to my best producer, Mitch Clopton's Little Sahara. Little Sarah's proven to produce good dogs no matter who she's bred to. Um, this bitch right here is Hell on Wheels, another dog for her age. She's about six, eight months old. Very hyper, very aggressive little bitch. Show them his chocolate. Taylor's Honey. I'm going to be showing you Taylor's Honey and Taylor's Cash Money. They're litter mates off St. Benedict's Bailey, ready to Schnatt's Belly Dancer. Both these dogs contain four of the six best producing dogs, males in the world. Contain Jeep number one, Grand Champion Yellow number two, Tab and Weirdo, fifth and sixth. Um, very pleased with these two young dogs, very hyper. That shows a bad sign yet. This is Taylor's honey. We're going to show you her brother, Cash Money, right over here, too. Ain't that right to the plum? Ain't that right to the plum? All right, let's show him that brother over there. Taylor's Cash Money. That's litter mate to honey. Containing number one, Jeep. Number two, Yellow. Number five and six, Weirdo and Tab. Four of the six best producing dogs, males in the world, and the number one producing female, Honey Bunch. Looks a lot like his old father, Bailey. All right, let's see what else we got. Show you a few dogs right here together. This is Taylor's Miss Renee off Lonzo Spud. Bred to Greenwood's Lance's Lydia. Lydia being six times Greenwood's Oki. It's come from the yard of Lonzo. She's just now off her pups. So you'll notice her tits are hanging. She is a hell of a good looking bitch. Hey, baby. Got the classic Zebo teeth. Just keep it rolling, I want to show them all these dogs. Yeah. This is Taylor's chocolate bear. She's bred like bad ass Maverick, Manson, Angry Lady, China. Breeding I made three times and all the dogs have turned out excellent. Um, Young bitch we got here, very fast and very quick, very happy. Taylor's chocolate bear. She's producing one litter and the bucks are looking great. This right here is Garner Zora. She's a double bred daughter directly off Garner's Frisco. Um, Frisco being the third best producing dog in the world. We bred her to St. Benedict's Bailey. The pups off this breed will contain number one Jeep, number three Frisco, five and six Weirdo and Tab. Four of the six best male producing males in the world in history. Show this male right here. Strong, athletic male. He's off Lonzo Spud, bred to Clock and Little Sahara. That's exactly the way Badass Bitch is bred. This is Taylor's Maverick. He's bred exactly like Badass Bitch. He's 49 pounds there on the chain. Uh, very happy with the dog. Very strong, athletic. Oh, oh. 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 Show them warrior princes back here. 
That's Taylor's Warrior, Francis. That's a young double bred daughter of Lonzo Spud. We have an inbred Zebo bitch. We were hoping to get a litter off of her bred to Joe Black, but I don't believe the bitch took them. Um, she's not showing any signs that she took anyway, so we're not going to be accepting any more deposits on that breeding. All right, let's show them all these puppies for that baby. All right. This is four puppies off of Chub Rock's Joe Black, the great grandson of Zebo, bred to Taylor's Miss Maid, the dark black bitch I just showed you. This black dog here is going to Louisville, Kentucky. This is a puppy I've sort of picked out for myself. Um, this is Taylor's Chocolate Chunk with a big head. And these two other chocolate male pups look just like him. Got one off just a little bit smaller, you can tell. Um, other than that, it's hard to tell them apart. You can see the difference in their heads. These pups are six weeks old. They're off Joe Black, ready to miss Renee. Very tight Zebo. Joe Black being seven times Zebo, and pedigree on Miss Renee is six times Oki, and I think about three times Zebo, and several times Vindicator. So, about as tight as Zebo dogs as you'll see on the market today. Come out here, Chocolate Chunk. Come out here, Chunk. Chunk. All right, that's what's in this litter. This Chocolate Chunk, the choice pup. You got two others. All three chocolate red nose. One's a little larger, one's a little smaller. Alright, that's good. Alright, this is the first daughter I have. Double bred daughter of St. Benedict's Bailey. This is Taylor's Black Widow. Black Widow's off Bailey, bred to his daughter, Keelan's Red Scarlet. Red Scarlet's obviously off Bailey, bred to Tance Andrea. Tance Andrea came from the yard of Mr. David Tant, South Carolina. Top and bottom, she's off of a Tance AAA, which are off Grand Champion Yellow, Register Merit. It's, dog, it's double bred on Bailey, takes four of the six best producing males in the world. Jeep, Yellow, Tad, the Weirdo. Mean as hell, too. Ow! Little bitch. Little bitch. Little bitch, ain't you? I'm a sugar pie, though, ain't you? No sugar? Taylor's Black Widow. Alright, this is a litter of pups off of Nooski and Taylor's Zebo. Ran to Taylor's Miss Renee. Uh, excuse me, Taylor's Katie Girl, Miss Renee's litter mate's sister. Katie Girl's off of Lonzo Spud. Ran to Greenwood's Lance's Lydia. There's two females, there's three females in the litter. Black females going to Bill in Ohio. Two females left in the litter available. I'm going to keep one and sell the other one. I don't really have any choice. I like both of them. We got one black female. She's got little brindle markings in her. She's a very hyper dominant dog. And one chocolate female available. Then there's three chocolate red nosed males. You got two that are solid. One's just slightly larger. Other than that, really it's hard to tell them apart. They both got wider face. One's got a slightly larger head. Two chocolate red nosed males. One with a little wiry chocolate red nosed male. He's got a little bit of white blade on the back of his neck. Ain't that right, son? Huh? All right, that's the beautiful litter of pups I have off of Nooski and Taylor Zebo. Hey, babies. This is the last litter of puppies I'm going to show you. This is off my St. Benedict's Bailey. Ran to Taylor's Two Face. Two Face is a good little game bitch. She's litter mate sister to Taylor's Tiger. I'll do my best to show you these puppies. Um, there's three males. There's two black males. 
Ain't that right, sons? Ain't that right, sons? Two beautiful black males. There's one tan black male, a uh, tan male with a font, with a black mat muzzle. Alright, there's six females in the litter. There are two beautiful brindle females. Hard to tell them apart. Um, if you're trying to pick one out, one's got more, more white on its front left paw there. And a little bit darker muzzle. This one here's got more white on its paw and a little bit darker muzzle. There's one very unusual color, a light brindle female. Beautiful female puppy, very dominant. I like this one. There are two chocolate females. One of them's got more white on both of her feet here than the other one. Both of them are red nose. Two beautiful chocolate female pups. And there's one little fawn bitch. She's tan with a reddish tone to her. We'll go through and give you some names on these females if you're trying to pick one out that you can. ready to eat. Alright, the two brindle bitches here are Kelly and April. And if trying to tell them apart, like I say, one's got more white on its front left and a little bit darker muzzle. This light brindle bitch here, she's called a tan brindle with a red nose. Her name is Christy. And the names could be changed, I just name them so we can tell them apart at this age. These two chocolate ones are Nancy and Amy. Um, trying to pick one out. One of them's got more white on his feet. And last but not least, this little foam bitch is Tina. Taylor's teen. All the dogs are registered Taylor's. Alright, that's all the pups I'm going to show you today. I hope you enjoyed your visit to my yard. If you got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to call. Thanks.